Well, joining me now is Kanda Yumkela, United Nations Under Secretary General. Dr. Yumkela, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us this evening. Uh, John Kerry today has made an urgent plea uh, for more assistance. Has the world been too slow to wake up to the threat of Ebola? Of course, the world has been slow in waking up, but the good news is it did wake up. And between uh, about 10 days ago and now, when the Secretary General hosted the summit at the General Assembly, we saw many countries responding, and of course, the UK also hosted a, a meeting here, a donors meeting, um, on the 2nd of October, which has also received overwhelming support. So the announcement today by the British Prime Minister is, is, is big news, and we need to, massive action, but we also need speed now to deliver on the ground. We need boots on the ground, we need disbursements to happen quicker and faster than they are happening right now. What difference will the deployment uh, by the UK of military personnel, of a medical ship and of helicopters make in Sierra Leone? It will make a significant difference. You need that kind of military logistics to quickly put up the testing centres. You need that military logistics to help to establish the, the treatment centres. But in addition, the, the airlift capability gives confidence to many hundreds of volunteers that want to go to these countries that indeed, if anything happens, that they could be lifted out quickly. So I think this, this is significant. This is a, an integrated response from the UK that really many of us had been looking forward to. What about the capabilities of the countries worst affected to deal with this? In your country, Sierra Leone, uh, the uh, bodies have been lying in the streets because the workers supposed to be collecting them weren't paid. There's a, a shipping container full of medical aid and mattresses that has been sitting in a port for more than a month. They are overwhelmed, aren't they? The system is overwhelmed. Put it in also in context. Liberia, Sierra Leone have gone through a brutal period of over a decade of civil war. They were just beginning to rebuild. The economies were just booming. The governments were just beginning to put some degree of infrastructure investments across the board in place. And then this crisis hit. So yes, they've had problems. We hope that the international community will respond, but also more importantly, that those of us involved now in development cooperation, particularly in the health sector, but also in the general social sector, we should focus a lot on institution building. It is crucial from a sectoral standpoint, whether it's hospitals, whether it's education, or for that matter, energy, we must look at institution building, governance within that institution, and the quality of investments. So even now, when I see massive flows of help coming in, the question is, will we deploy these resources now in the health sector to make sure we build capacities in these countries so they're able to cope with the next crisis. We don't just need to parachute things in. We should en endeavor to build capacity within those countries so that they can deal with future problems, but in fact have a healthcare system that will support future generations. So the expenditure, the quality of the expenditure, what it is used for will matter, but that responsibility also comes to our people as well. How will we use this generosity from the rest of the world going forward?